What's up, guys? It's Ramon from Nine Black Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with a highly anticipated review. I've been waiting for these Kong 3.0s uh, ever since I bought the uh, Qlam Disaster of a Hair Piece. And uh, the hair on this is much better. Um, still has some of the same problems, but we will go over that. Now let me uh, get this Goku out of the way quickly. As you can see, need to stand. And uh, we can check out the art on this box. So you have the Dragon Fist Goku here. Got Kong right up there. Kong Studio Body 3.0, 112th collectible. And this is 024. Here it shows 3.0 with the 3.0... Um, body you got your warning back here choking hazard uh it's this is what shows you which figure you get so here you see the yellow hair and on top it's a blank and bottom is a blank that is your box once opened it comes in this you have your figure in the plastic right here is the halo it plugs into a hole i will show you that then you get four different face plates one that is included three that are separate they're very nice so you have this serious face the one that is on is smirking uh surprised face Sorry about that camera. Let me do this. And then a attacking slash yelling face. Ton of hands come with it. Karate pose, one for each. You got your energy attack hands. Instant transmission and your Kamehameha hands. So that, aside from the hands and faceplate, are it for the accessories. I wish we would have got something um, in effect, effect wise with these guys. Um, I have all four, so I will be reviewing all four. I mostly got the blue hair. Uh, just for the bodies so I can have the torn gi especially for SS3 Goku because when we first see him that is how he is portrayed portrayed and uh, I will show you guys that swap when I get to it but here's how I have him you know wiping off his mouth with a smirk and we will go over articulation, but first things first, uh, outside of like a powering up pose, you are not going to be able to get this guy to stand with his hair. Uh, it's just way, way too heavy. So the pictures they had shown where he wasn't using a stand, I'm not sure how they posed them, but I have not got him in any position whatsoever. And even look. So one of the issues is his torso and neck joint seem too loose for the weight. It's not that they're loose overall. If I wouldn't have this SS3 hair on here, it would not be that loose. Now, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Because even our official that is horrible looking in comparison can't stand very well and it's hard to pose so again you have to take that with a grain of salt now i'm going to go over articulation but first i would like to just show off and i actually have to lean that against something to get him to stand and even then he's leaning So, a quick comparison here, what we have is official trash. Apologize for anyone that's offended by that. 
Um, if you are a figure art only, I'm not buying from third party, Bandai needs my money person. Uh, sorry to say, but this Goku is horrendous. Uh, I got him years ago now, second release, now we're going for a third. Uh, and when I got him out of the box, I looked at this guy like, what the hell do I have in my hands? Now, I saw online images and reviews of it, but, like, some things look better in hand, and then some things look worse, and this guy is it. Because I don't know what Goku or where they pulled this mold out of. The only good thing about it is its buffness, and people use this body for other Gokus. Might be what I end up doing with some of them after this release. Uh, because uh, it surely isn't getting posed on my shelf <laughs> now that we have something far superior. I mean, just look at the hair. You know, when you're watching this video, Google any of the Goku images that actually show an SS3 Goku, and uh, this is what he looks like. This is like a very bad startup third party knockoff company went and made a Goku figure on a computer for its image and production blindfolded and you end up with this this guy I mean body down this body's all reused parts outside of I think the uh, buffness and the arms so when they took this head the body was already used you know we have this on every 2.0 figure when they did this head sculpt it was like Picasso throwing paint at a wall, and that's what they did on the computer to generate the image that uh, came up with this mess. It's bad. And if you, you know, again, only like figure arts, sorry for you. You should expand out and look at some of these third parties because this is a terrific Goku. Even customized stuff, far better than this. Um, only issue I have with the new one is they actually went the same route with the neck joint and it is different than all the rest of the stuff. As you can see, they kind of did the same thing figure arts did with the neck. And that just might be to hold up the hair. Unsure as to why. So one thing you guys will probably notice is there is a gap in between the bangs and I think that has something to do actually with the way the pegs plug in because I can bend it down and get rid of the gap so it might just be some peg warpage because there it's gone there it's back maybe the head isn't plugging all the way in I'm unsure as to the cause of that but you can make it go away which means that it's an issue that is fixable which is a plus now let's go over the articulation. I'm moving back a bit so we can get into this. I'm going to have to hold him the whole time. You know, head's only going to turn that far. You can turn this head up, the hair up, and uh, get it out of the way to potentially move. But the issue is, is the faceplate actually hits the neck and pulls the faceplate off. So the most rotation you're getting out of it is side to side there. Doesn't look back very far unless you do that. So let's quickly show you your points of articulation in the hair you have right here. Um, and if you move it out of the way, you will get 360 out. Same thing up here. You just move it out of the way. Now it's sticking straight up like he's powered up. Kong showed this image off. Now again, you can see face plate, plate is getting pulled. So now, even with that, he gets a little more turns, but no more back. The back of the hair there, even with it rotated, prevents it from going back any further. He actually goes back further this way than it does rotate it. So you do have a neck joint. It enables him to look down extremely far let's get my camera to focus again there we go uh, arms go slightly below 90 
but has the rotation. Um, this is a flexible piece of plastic that moves along inside the joint. And then you have this uh, molded piece of plastic here, which is a part of the 3.0, which is a really cool addition. Um, as you can see there, it gives a little extra life to the figure. As you can see, it looks much more realistic for a gi than uh, the original. Bicep swivel that moves 360. You got double jointed elbows that goes past a 90 degree. Um, your basic figure arts wrist hinge, and this is one of the issues I have found is this wrist peg is somewhat loose with the hand. It comes off fairly easily. It's something easy to fix. I'll just take a uh, Q-tip. Add some glue to it, let it dry on the joint. If I put too much on one, I'll just lightly sand some off. So that's an easy fix. You got diaphragm. He doesn't get any side to side there. So you get down with the diaphragm and waist to about there. I don't know if the waist is actually moving. Waist rotates 360. It pulls it up a little too far when you go that far, so it pops it off the joint. Not a big deal. Leg kicks out to 90. Back not so far. You got your double jointed 3.0 knee. It gets a little jammed up right there. Hear that? It's a little tight. And you get some crazy thigh swivel that I don't remember on Gohan. It's almost a 360 movement. No, it is. It goes 360. Which is crazy. No boot cut there, though it looks like it might. Ankle rotates 360. You can see the peg we have in there. Just slightly moves it up and down, and you get a toe joint. That works extremely well for a third-party company. Most companies, I don't know why, um, look like the same joint. But whenever I moved it, it just had an issue moving. But you do have some blue paint underneath that. And uh, one of the things to look at, I think these boots look a little better than the official as well. Just the paint colors, the red instead of the orange. Very clean. Uh, it's crazy how far third-party companies have come that you can compare it to an official, even with the paint applications, and uh, say, hey, this looks better. Like, the brown strings instead of bright yellow ones. Now, we don't have any shading uh, on the figure. As you can see, this has that black shading on it. It lacks that, but looks very clean. And, uh... That is it for the review, guys. I'm going to post uh, some shorts, uh, some photos in the short section of SS3 Goku. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want to get into some of my giveaways, I currently have a Timmy Customs uh, pack multiple of his custom pieces to give away on the channel when I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you enjoy these videos and you would like to see more content from me, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys. See ya.